Hello and welcome to the next Music on the Brain. I am Frank from Duck Noir. I want to say welcome to all of the new people that are joining me today. And I want to say an extra thanks to everybody who came back. We like you. Hope you come back more. Today's episode, I'm going to kind of pick up where the last episode left off, which was when I was listening to music in middle school and high school. At that time, what got me into it, if you didn't see the last one, was punk. Now this one, I'm going to talk about an unrealized inspiration at the time. And, and I, I guess that's a weird way of saying an unrealized inspiration, but I'll explain. When I went from punk, and I was still listening to punk, I started buying a lot of soundtracks. And I bought them so that I could actually hear lots and lots of different genres of music and expose myself to new bands. At that point, I really did start trying to consume as much music as I could, which leads me to this unintended inspiration. For some reason, there was a string of soundtracks that all came out that had the same Nick Cave song, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. It was a song called Red Right Hand. I don't know why, it was used on the soundtrack for Scream 1, and then again on the soundtrack for Scream 2, albeit I think it might have been a little bit different of an edition. It was also on this incredible compilation that was also a soundtrack called Songs in the Key of X, which if you've never heard it, it was actually really good. It was a comp put together of songs that could fit in X-Files, but weren't in X-Files. It was weird, but you should check it out. It had lots of really good artists on it. So I really loved this one song, this, the Red Right Hand by Nick Cave, but... For some reason, I never went out and got another Nick Cave album for a long, long time. And then the song just kind of drifted from my memory uh, as I stopped listening to soundtracks and moved on to listening to albums. Fast forward a bunch of years, eight years. When I was in the band, I was in Buffalo Sugar Pill. I got really heavy into kind of garage horror um, music, which I guess is really just the band Horrors, uh, their first album, which is kind of really grungy and all the songs have kind of horror movie themes to them. It inspired me and I wanted to do a band like that so I got a couple friends together and we did a, a little basement band called uh, Saturday Night Horror Show. While we never actually played out we recorded some of the stuff. It was all these kind of horror theme songs and really kind of bass driven and kind of low and kind of driving and, and I still like the stuff. And while the band dissolved I actually took a couple of the songs and did them with Sugar Pill and then on um, the, the album I recorded with my wife, I did one of them. Fast forward a little bit longer to a couple of years ago where I was searching through old CDs and I found that song to the Key X and I listened to it and I'm like, oh yeah, this Nick Cave song, I love this song. And it just blew me away because I'm like, wait, this kind of reminds me of something. And I went back and I looked at those old Saturday Night Horror Show songs and I was like, oh my god. I hadn't had Nick Cave in my head when I was playing it, but I could see the fingerprints all over it. It was very inspired by this this Red Right Hand song. And the low driving bass and and the the kind of odd instruments that were added in. And it still amazes me. I mean, now I'm a huge Nick Cave fan. I've gobbled up a bunch of his stuff. Some of his albums are some of my favorite albums. But when I wrote those songs, I didn't know that that was going to happen. And it just floors me how much of an inspiration he was on my subconscious without even realizing it. So take this as a word to the wise. Maybe you should dig up some of those old albums. You may never know which ones had more influence on you than you realize. Make sure you click subscribe to stay updated not only on this vlog but also on the Duck Vlog which is the vlog where I play music from my band. And actually next episode of Duck Vlog I am going to play one of the songs that was from that Saturday Night Horror Show. There's also links down below to my band Duck Noir's pages. You can like, follow, whatever. Drop me a message. Maybe I'll send you some free stuff. As always, have a great night.